I work as principal here in St. George English Medium School. I will be sharing with you two different videos on how to formulate perfect tense, whether it is present perfect tense or it is past perfect tense. Over to the next class. Good morning, dear students. I wish to present to you something very important in English language. The name of that is perfect tense. Now, how do you formulate perfect tense? Here you see, I have prepared for you one chart and another chart. In perfect tense, we use the subject, auxiliary verb, and the perfect tense, whether it is a present tense form or the past tense form. Before learning about this, I wish to introduce to you this. That is verb number 1, verb 2 and verb 3. In verb number 1, in the present tense it is right. In the past tense it is wrote. And in the perfect tense it is written. Now, to make the perfect tense, we only use the third verb form. We do not use first or the second verb form. Please remember this very clearly. In perfect tense, whether it is present tense or past tense, we use only the third form of the verb. Very important matter, students, that you need to remember is this. The auxiliary verbs. How do you use this auxiliary verb? In the present tense form, we use has and have. In the past tense form, we use the word have in the auxiliary verb. Now, when do you use the words has? When do you use them? When you use the third form of the subject, so sorry, third person of the subject, that is he, she, it, Raju, Raghu, any singular form like school, airport, company, etc., you use the word has in the present perfect tense. When do you use have? Why do you use I, we, you, they, any form of plural like boys, girls, students, schools, airports, companies, then you use the word have. Here it is. This is for perfect tense. I repeat again. Has is used for third person that is he, she, it. And in any singular form, any person's name or city's name, any material's name, any singular form, you use the word has. Have for I, we, you, they, any plural form, you use have. Had, I will speak to you later. Now shall we come back to the sentence? That is, if I take the verb I, I took the verb I here. What do I need to use in the perfect tense? I need to use have. I have. Which verb to be used? Third form of the verb. I have written. Whatever predicate you want to use, you can use. I am going to use the predicate. I have written the story. This is my sentence. I have written the story. If I use the verb, sorry, subject we, it will be same. We have written the story. 
Now, if I take the verb you, you have written the story. If I take the third form of the person, third person, he, if I write he, then what I need to use, I have already taught you, is as. He has written the story. Very easy to remember. He has written the story. Now, this is for present perfect tense. The above what I taught you, this is the whole thing is on present perfect tense. These are. You use has, have. I hope it is very clear to you. I, we, you, they. He, she, it, Raju, Raju, singular form. You use present perfect tense for I, me, you, they and the plural have plus the third form of the verb. For singular, he, she, it, any name, the auxiliary verb is has and the third form of the verb.